so a quote for the day for you. This one is by Drew Houston, and he says this, don't worry about failure. You only have to be right once. And I love this quote because, you know, failure is such a, it's such a deceiver. You know, you, you, there's fear of failure. There is shame around failure. Oh, I failed or I failed in front of you. I mean, one of my favorite books by John Maxwell is fail forward, right? And so the idea is that you're going to fail. Like it's a part of it. We're not designed perfect, but we're de designed to be in progress, to be in process. So the failure is a part of our learning. People will say, well, there's no such thing as failure. There's just learning opportunities. However you need to uh, give language to it for yourself, don't worry or get stuck in the spinning idea that, oh, I failed, I failed, it failed. I mean, it's like 409, right? The, the, the cleaning uh, product. They called it that because it took 409 times to get the formula right. I mean, the reality is that things in front of us, we look at it as a final end product, but we don't realize how many times it had to go to the lab, how many tests had to be done, how many you know, light bulbs or versions of it were created before the final one was made. And now what I'm saying is that failure is like, it's your friend because the more you get failure out of the way, then success is coming. If you need to fail a hundred times to get to your one success, but when you get to failure number 51, you're like, I'm tired of failing. And failure, your success is on the other side saying, look, just 49 times, 49 more times, and I'm on the other side of this. And all I'm saying is just fail forward, go into it, lean into it. Just know, hey, if you tried it and you did it and it didn't work, go back to the lab, do it again. Figure it out, do it again, tweak it again, adjust it again. You deserve it, your dream deserves it. The reason why it's inside of you is because it's meant to come out of you. And if it's meant to come out of you, then give yourself the opportunity to work it out. If the, if the caterpillar inside the cocoon, if, if, it, if it feels like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die in here struggling, it didn't realize that that struggle was actually the muscles and the strength that would make the wings so beautiful of that butterfly. Don't struggle inside not realizing that, you know what, this is the muscle that I need. This is the clarity that I need. The reason why I can consult the way that I do is because I understand failure. Oh no, no, that, that's on its way to bankruptcy. Oh no, that, that's not gonna be valuable. Oh no, that, that's not an exit strategy. Why do I know these things? Because in the world of hard knocks, it's right in front of my face. I taste it, I feel it, I see it. I'm in it with my clients. It's that experience that gives me that edge. And what I'm saying is that you have an opportunity for it too. Don't be afraid of the failure. Embrace it because it gets you clearer and, and it gets you quicker to the success that is meant to be. Lean into it. Let it, let it, let, let it, let it guide you into the knowledge of knowing what to do and what not to do. There is value in it. People will want to come to you. They'll want to seek you out because you'll know exactly how to avoid the pitfalls that's going to cost them the time. You're gonna help them accelerate the time. You're gonna help them uh, uh, collapse that space. You're gonna help them get to where they wanna go faster because you've already been through it. But if you stop before you arrive, then how will you help others? If you stop before you arrive, how you, will you have that success? So what I wanna say to you today is that success is meant for you and don't be afraid of the failure along the way to it.